Alright, good evening everybody. We'll get started in just a moment. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Thank you all for joining tonight. Welcome to Beer City Breaks. My name is Aaron. <clears throat> let's see, let me just check. All right, so we are good to go. Uh, everybody's paid up, I appreciate that. Uh, tonight's giveaway card, we're gonna do a Dimitri Felton from the Browns, autographed rookie ticket from this year's contenders. Oh, let me turn the overhead light off, one second. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. <clears throat> yes, indeed. Yeah, definitely with uh, with the Chronicles. If you like the uh, the rookies, there's a lot of, especially a lot of the uh, you know the top rookies are definitely featured quite a bit in the Chronicles series. So the big thing, obviously, we'll be looking for are some of those uh, Prism Black cards and the Prism Black Silver. So let's see. We got a total of 15. I'll just kind of stack them up. So we got two up front. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So I think what I'm going to do tonight is um, I'm going to open like two boxes at once, and just to try to make it a little bit more efficient because sometimes it does. Uh, I just don't want it to take forever. So I'll do two boxes at once. I'll open all the packs within each uh, those two boxes, and then we'll take a look at what's inside. Um, so let's jump in and let's start with the team list. So let me bring the camera over. And here we are. I do have it pulled up on my phone as well and the comments usually pop up. So feel free to comment as we go through. Always makes it a little more interesting. All right, so it looks like uh, we can see the team, so I'll go ahead and scroll down. And the Ravens didn't sell. I forgot about that one, so we'll, uh, we can randomize the Ravens at the end. Hang on a second. <laughs> All right, Paul. Yeah, you got you had the commanders too. All right. Let's see real quick. Let me just check something real fast. Okay, sorry about that. So we'll go ahead and jump in. Good luck, everybody. Like I said, we'll do uh, two boxes at once. There are quite a bit of cards. So there's 42 cards in each box. 
and then uh, we got 15 boxes, so this should be uh, 700 cards, I think. No, no, I should know how to do math a little bit better. 420, 210, 630. There we go. I tell you, it's it's only Monday. <laughs> I'm already having a hard time with math. <clears throat> so we got an empty box there. I do like the Chronicles. I know they're not maybe on the same par with, you know, maybe Mosaic or other than the Prism Black cards like Prism or even Optic. But, you know, I do like the uh, variety that you get with the Chronicles. And I will say that, you know, especially with the NFL version, the, you know, you do get quite a bit of the rookies. Um, they're featured pretty heavily. So, especially in the non base Chronicles cards. And probably what I'll do, if it's okay with everybody, is because uh, Panini loves to like flip the cards, like every other card is flipped around. So what I will probably do, if it's okay, if it's just uh, like a base vet card, then I'll probably, if it's upside down, I'll probably just let it stay upside down. If it's a rookie or uh, you know like an insert of some sort, then I'll flip them around. But it might just help make things go a little bit more smoothly. So that's one. I don't know why Panini is not capable of making all of the cards go in the same order or in the same, you know, direction rather. When I did some tops, some of the uh, tops platinum anniversary hobby boxes, those were all in the same direction. So that was nice. <clears throat> But I think usually it seems like maybe about 60-70% of the time with the Chronicles we'll find and we'll, you know we'll hit a uh, Prism Black card. I think the first time I did the blasters a couple weeks ago, I think we hit a couple of Mac Jones. And then I did some of the fat packs, or no, it was the uh, cello packs, two of the boxes of the cello packs Friday night. We did hit a T Law. Not the silver, but just the regular prison black. All right, there we go. Okay, good luck, everybody. Let me check real quick. Let's see. Oh, okay, just uh, when I see the uh, notification pop up, I just want to make sure it's not somebody uh, requesting to join. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Good luck. Here we go. Starting off, we got Michael Thomas with the Saints. Curious to see uh, what he'll look like this year. DK Metcalf, and we're not going to have to wait long for a Prison Black. We got Jonathan Taylor. And our first Prison Black, Jamar Chase, going to the Bengals. Not bad. Nice hit there right off the bat for the Bengals. So I'll get that one sleeved up and top loaded in just a moment. Uh, we got Rondale Moore on the playoff momentum. DeAndre Hopkins on the pink, pink foil. Najee Harris on the pink foil Gridiron Kings, going to the Steelers. Uh, we've got Zach Wilson, Cooper Cup, JJ Watts, Kyle Pitts, and Micah Parsons on the clear vision for the Cowboys. Then we got a Matt Stafford on the pink foil. Kenneth Gainwell uh, with the canvas pink foil. We got Chuba Hubbard, uh, Devontae Smith, and Jerry Judy, and Ami Brown on the prestige going to Washington. Uh, we got a Mac Jones, uh, one of the magnitude clear cards. Devontae Smith on the luminance, which also has the canvas feel to it. And we got a nice Jalen Waddle, pink foil on the luminance, going to the Dolphins. Michael Pittman, Derrick Henry, Clyde Edwards Hilaire. We got a Kellen Mond on the Legacy, going to the Vikings. Got a Terrace Marshall on the Playoff Momentum. 
Another Mac Jones, this time the Gridiron Kings. And then we got Michael Carter, DeAndre Hopkins, Marshawn Lattimore, got a Justin Fields. On the base Chronicles card, we got a Jalen Waddle again, and a third Jalen Waddle, this time on the Clear Vision. Kid, oh, sorry, I thought for a second I saw the blue and red. I thought I almost said Kadarius Tony. Greg Rousseau, sorry, for the Bills on the Gridiron Kings. And then for the Bucks, we got Kyle Trask on the pink Gridiron Kings. Cortland Sutton, Michael Carter, Matt Stafford. Got Micah Parsons on the Prestige. And looks like Davis Mills on the Magnitude. Then we got Rashad Bateman going to the Ravens. And again, the Ravens didn't sell, and I forgot to do anything about it. So I will randomize the Ravens off at the end um, to one of the other teams. And then we got Cortland Sutton on the pink. And then, let me do this in two stacks. There we go. So we got uh, Chronicles, Trey Lance, base Chronicles that is. Uh, Jeffrey Simmons, Alvin Kamara. Got another Trey Lance, this time on the Prestige. Chuba Hubbard, Rashad Bateman on the Gridiron Kings. CeeDee Lamb on the pink. Got Matt Ryan, Derek Carr, David Montgomery. There's a Kadarius Tony on the Flux. Then we got a Pat Fryermuth on the Playoff Momentum, clear. Keenan Allen on the pink. Travis Etienne, pink uh, canvas for the Jags. Javante Williams, Corey Davis, Aaron Donald, Rondale Moore. Got another Kadarius Tony. And then we got DJ Moore on the pink, Chronicles. Continuing on, we got Kellen Mond. Looks like we got a Prism Black coming up. We got Traquan Smith. Let's see, uh, let me just do this off camera so I can not give it away too soon. All right, because these cards sometimes they they don't stick together per se, but they just they don't slide quite as easily. So we got Traquan Smith. Got a Jamar Chase there on the base Chronicles. Tua. And let's see, so our Prism Black Silver is going to be for the Eagles, and rookie as always, and we got Devontae Smith, that's a nice one there for the Eagles. So that one's the Silver, kind of has that holographic look to it. And let's see, we got a regular Prism Black coming up too. Nico Collins on the canvas. Got a Kenneth Gainwell for the Eagles on the pink foil, Gridiron Kings. Darnell Mooney, Debo Samuel. Let's see if I can, there we go. Nico Collins. And then let's see, got one for the Ravens. So I'm guessing Rashad Bateman. So that one again, that'll get randomized off at the end. And let's see, we got a Magnitude for Najee. Eli Mitchell on the canvas, Tyreek Hill pink, got a T-Law, base Chronicles, Cordero Patterson, Josh Jacobs, uh, Pat Fryermuth, Zach Wilson on the playoff momentum. Glad to hear that uh, he'll be back sooner than they originally expected. Pat Fryermuth for the Steelers on the Gridiron Kings, and we got a Trey Lance uh, pink on the canvas. So let me go ahead and get a few sleeved and or top loaded. Oops, hang on. That, that sleeve has a had a bent corner there. Okay. And even if I don't sleeve and or top load something on camera tonight, uh, what I've been doing with the Chronicles is. Um, Obviously, the uh, the big rookies will get, um, especially the the real nice you know um, cards for the big rookies uh, will get all sleeved and top loaded. All of the cards for the big rookies will get sleeved at minimum. Um, and usually, like let's say if it's one of these base chronicles, you know if there's a multiples of one of the players, uh, usually what I'll do is I will sleeve the first one and then the others. Um, I'll top load rather the first one. And then the others I may not um, top load, but I'll still sleeve them. 
Obviously things like the uh, Prism Blacks, those will all get sleeved and top loaded uh, regardless. So yeah, not too bad start there for the first couple boxes. I'm kind of getting down in terms of stock, so like I've got a little bit left. I have uh, two of the 2022 Legacy Hobby Boxes, so I'm thinking I might do those on Sunday next week, or this coming Sunday rather. Um, and then I do have another round of the Prestige 2022, the 1H2 and 2 Blasters. 2 Blasters, 5 Blasters. Man, it's only Monday. It's going to be a long week. So I'll probably do those. I might do those either Sunday, double up Sunday, or maybe do them Monday night. But I'll make an announcement in the group if I do that. And let me get some more top loaders real quick. And then I do have some of the uh, Optic Blasters coming. Uh, only one order has shipped so far, I got a notice today. So those, one order at least, of three is coming. Um, but I do have some more, I think I've got a total of 20 of those that I was able to get from Target. So I will, uh, whenever those come in, I'll put up a break for those as well. I did, I was able to get uh, three, so I, I have hardly ever had luck with Walmart online, and then the last month or so I've had a couple, had a little bit of, you know, success, but not a lot. Usually it's like, I'll score one, <clears throat> excuse me, one box of something. So, um, I did get three of the Optic Blasters when Walmart dropped them, I guess that was last week. So I went ahead and opened those. I figured I couldn't do a break with three. So, but wasn't bad. I like the optic. I like the uh, I guess the Walmart version. You get the purple rated rookies. So those are nice. I did get one of the uh, fire short prints. Has a little flames on them for Lamar Jackson. So there we go. All right, not bad there for the first couple. We'll jump into boxes three and four. Hey, Rick, how's it going? Thanks for joining. Definitely ready for football to get underway. It's been nice to see some preseason football. Obviously not, not as exciting as regular season and hardly ever any starters play for very long, but always good to see it anyway. Only a few more weeks. It was kind of funny doing the uh, Prestige last night since it's a 2022 product, and you know, so it's funny to open up packs and see players from the 2021 draft class like Mac Jones or Jalen Waddle and they're not to be a rookie you know or a RC on the card been so used to 2021 so I've kind of kind of reorient my brain a little bit so it'll be interesting to see which of the rookies from 2022 step up I don't really know if any of those quarterbacks will do a whole lot barring any uh, significant injuries from what I had read, it didn't sound like Kenny Pickett was quite ready for the Steelers just yet. It seemed like he may need to sit a little while. So we'll see maybe what Mitch Trubisky can do. <laughs> 
Yes, indeed. Nice, a nice Devontae Smith there on the silver. All right. Jumping in, box number three and four. We got Chuba Hubbard, <clears throat> excuse me, Devontae Smith, Jerry Judy, got a Kadarius Tony on the Dynagon, Dynagon, Dynagon uh, insert, a Kyle Trask on the Clear Vision, Tyler Lockett on the Pink Foil, JC Horn on the Pink Foil Gridiron Kings, Michael Pittman, Derek Henry, Clyde Edwards Hilaire, we got Michael Carter on the Prestige, and Tom Brady on the Magnitude for the Buccaneers. Then we got Micah Parsons on the Pink. We do have a Silver Flux coming up, it looks like. We got a Pink Foil, Devontae Smith on the Canvas. DeAndre Hopkins, Marshawn Lattimore, got a Justin Fields base. We got a Zach Wilson Prestige, and then a Zach Wilson Silver Flux. So that's a nice looking card there for the Jets. So we'll get that one sleeved up and top loaded in a moment. Definitely good to hear that he'll be back sooner than they originally anticipated. So we got Travis Etienne on the Gridiron Kings, Davis Mills on the Pink Luminance, Cortland Sutton, Michael Carter, Matt Stafford, we got Shane Buscelli on the legacy going to the Chiefs hard to see him playing a whole lot unless uh, Patty Mahomes goes down with a significant injury we got Amon Ross St. Brown on the momentum going to the Lions got T-Law on the canvas Jalen Hurts pink Alvin Kamara Joey B Miles Sanders got a 2-2 Atwell on the prestige then a Rondale Moore on the clear vision Kadarius Tony on the Luminance, Terrace Marshall, Pink, Gridiron Kings, got David Montgomery, Trey Lance, Jeffrey Simmons, got Mac Jones on the Prestige, and then we got a Dak Prescott on the Magnitude going to the Cowboys, Davis Mills on the Gridiron Kings, and a Pink, Christian McCaffrey. All right, let's see if we can get you a Mills Silver. All right, we got Kirk Cousins. Let me just do the let's split that. All right, we got Kirk Cousins on the Chronicles base. Marquise Brown, Kadarius Tony. Then we got a Rashawn Slater on the Legacy for the Chargers. A Zach Wilson on the Clear Vision. Damian Harris on the Pink. Michael Parsons, Pink, Gridiron Kings, Chronicles for DJ Moore, Keenan Allen, and C.D. Lamb. Then we do have a Trey Lance on the Prestige. We got Jalen Waddle on the Playoff Momentum. Kareem Hunt. We got another Jamar Chase, this time on the canvas, the Pink Foil. We got Aaron Jones, Antonio Gibson, Tyreek Hill, Rondale Moore. Got another Jamar Chase, this time on the Magnitude. And Chuba Hubbard on the Luminance, Pink Luminance for Kenneth Gainwell. Then we got Justin Herbert, Dak Prescott, and Russell Wilson. And then we got Rondale Moore on the Dynagon for the Cardinals. Najee Harris on the Playoff Momentum. Devontae Smith there on the Gridiron Kings. Saquon Barkley in the pink. Quentin Nelson, Kyler Murray, Josh Allen. Got a Kyle Trask on the Prestige. A Momentum for Micah Parsons. And we got Rondale Moore on the canvas. Elijah Moore on the Gridiron Kings pink. Jalen Hurts, Micah Parsons, Tyler Lockett's. Pat Fryermuth, got Davis Mills on the Clear Vision, Chuba Hubbard on the Canvas, and then a pink Rashad Bateman.
Definitely curious to see how these uh, second year QBs do, that's for sure. See which ones thrive. Hopefully they all do. I mean, I, I like all the rook or all the second year QBs. I'm always a little partial to the ones I have in my fantasy team. I had Justin Fields and Trey Lance last year. Obviously, Fields got a little action. I mean, Trey Lance did too, but Fields got a little bit more. Nothing crazy, though. So maybe year two will be a little bit better. I don't know. The Bears, I mean, they just don't... I mean, obviously, they got some good running backs, but they just, they're just wide receivers outside of Darnell Mooney. I mean, I guess they had Daz Newsom from last year. Now that Harry's down with an injury, it'd be uh, interesting to see... Uh, how Fields does. Trey Lance seems like he's probably in a better situation. Trevor Lawrence, so yeah, we'll see. I mean, at least they did help him a little bit with the offensive line. They tried to go out and get some more playmakers for him too. All right, I think we're ready to jump into numbers five and six. Still got to figure out, uh, hopefully the Yahoo Sports app will have the uh, football games on again this year. They always have all the uh, regularly televised Sunday afternoon games and then the night games. Just got to watch them on your phone which, or I guess your tablet. But I also have, I guess I've got Peacock streaming, so at least I can watch the... Uh, NBC has the games. And I've got Prime, too. It sounds like Amazon Prime is going to have Thursday night games this year. Oh, is that a good? Get some, can you get some popcorn off the top of the fridge? No, you can't, huh? Can't reach up there. <laughs> Sorry, my daughter's looking for some snacks. <laughs> okay, cool. So, Prime, I thought I read that today, or I thought I saw some sort of a headline, maybe. So, that's good. I know what I'll be doing every Thursday night that there's a game. But hopefully, too, um, I don't know. I, I need to go back and look and see, like, what the. Uh, the night games are this year, especially like the, uh, see which of the games the Bengals will be playing in. So if you haven't joined a break with me before, I'm a, I'm a Bengals fan from Cincinnati originally, so last year I got to watch a couple of the games on Sundays when they happen to be televised, but uh, definitely enjoyed watching preseason game, or preseason, good lord. It is going to be a long week. It's only Monday. Enjoyed watching the postseason games. There we go. Definitely unexpected run last year for the Bengals, so we'll see if they can uh, build on that this year. I think they've got the third toughest schedule, so it'll be a definite challenge. But at least they didn't really lose a whole lot. I mean, they did lose C.J. Uzama, which I was kind of sad to see him go, but they did get Hayden Hurst, and it sounds like he's doing pretty well. So that'll be all right. They went out and upgraded the offensive line, although they're... They still got to figure out their left guard situation. Didn't sound like Jackson Carmen was looking too good uh, in the first preseason game, so we'll see. Kind of wondering about their depth on the offensive line. If one of those starters goes down, they may be in trouble. All right, boxes five and six. We're starting off. We got uh, Austin Eckler, Najee, Travis Etienne, Devontae Smith. Got a Mac Jones on the Clear Vision. Trey Lance on the Luminance. Kadarius Tony on the Luminance Pink Foil. Chronicles, base for Rashad Bateman. Saquon Barkley, Kareem Hunt. Chuba Hubbard on the Prestige. Got Kyle Trask on the Momentum. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pink for James Robinson. We got a pink T Law on the Canvas. We got Damian Harris, Aaron Rodgers. Taylor Heineke, and we got a legacy for Amon Ra St. Brown. And Ramondre Stevenson on the playoff momentum. I had him on my fantasy team last year. That and Cordell Patterson were probably my two 
best kind of not drafted pickups. Uh, we got Calvin Ridley, uh, pink for Travis Etienne on the Gridiron Kings. Then we got Adam Thielen, Dawson Knox, TJ Hawkinson, Travis Etienne on the Prestige. Got a uh, Justin Herbert on the Magnitude. Felipe Franks, Darren Waller on the Pink, Chris Godwin, Lavishka, Lamar Jackson, Dwayne Eskridge, Ramondre Stevenson on the Clear Vision. Then we got Ramondre Stevenson on the Gridiron Kings. Uh, pink Luminance for Trey Lance. Got Daniel Jones, Nick Chubb, Mac Jones, and then we got a Kyle Trask for the Bucks on the Flux. Nico Collins on the Momentum. Khalil Herbert and Baker Mayfield. And box number six. Yeah, we got a silver something coming up. Maybe a flux. Uh, starting off, we got Kareem Hunt, Damian Harris, Aaron Rodgers, Kadarius Tony, uh, Zach Wilson on the playoff momentum. Got a Gridiron Kings for Patrick Sertan. Josh Jacobs on the pink. Got Travis Etienne. Rashad Bateman. Saquon Barkley. And on the score, we've got Kadarius Toney. Patrick Sertan on the clear vision for the Broncos. Got Cordell Patterson on the pink. Davis Mills, pink, gridiron kings. Cole Beasley. Austin Eckler. Oh, so hang on just a second. It sounds like maybe the video's locked up. So hang on one moment. Let me see. It was running on my phone. Let me see. Okay, it looks like it's moving again on my phone. Okay, sorry for the delay. So I did, Paul had said it was uh, freezing up. He'd sent me a message, so it's uh, looking good. Okay, so sorry about that. We'll keep on rolling then. All right, yeah, just uh, I had that happen a couple months ago where the, uh, when it was on YouTube where it just uh, it was really slow and it kind of freezed up on me and I didn't realize it for a while. All right, sorry about that. I tell you, I'm not sure what it is about Facebook versus YouTube. I don't know if I need to just get a... It's time to get a new computer or what, but I mean, I never had a whole lot of issues on YouTube, and we just got a new router for the uh, Wi-Fi, so I don't really know what's going on. That is weird. All right, good deal. Sorry about that, y'all. Okay, we got the pink, Cordell Patterson, Cole Beasley, Austin Eckler, Najee Harris, Terrace Marshall on the Prestige. We got a T-Law on the Magnitude, uh, T-Law on the pink, Chronicles, a Kellen Mond, A.J. Dillon, Terry McLaurin, Patty Mahomes, we got Tylen Wallace on the Prestige, and a T-Law Silver Flux for the Jags. Nice looking card there. Good deal. I'll get that one sleeved up in a moment. Uh, Jalen Waddle, Najee on the Pink Luminance, Kadarius Tony, Miles Garrett, Matt Judon, got a Michael Carter on the regular Flux for the Jets, Devontae Smith on the Momentum, there's a Javante Williams on the Luminance, Tom Brady, on the pink Chronicles base, C.D. Lamb, Kirk Cousins, Marquise Brown, Justin Fields on the Prestige. We got a clear vision for Trey Lance and a Nico Collins for the Texans and then a pink Gridiron Kings for Trey Lance. All right, let me get a few of these sleeved and or top loaded real quick.
Yeah, I think I need to do uh, like a test or something. I don't know. I like I, the couple of test videos I've done uh, on a Facebook Live. Like, I don't get the message about a low frame rate or you know uh, a slow connection. So I don't know why. Like, when I actually do the real deal, why I get those messages. So, I mean, my computer is it is about eight years old, but I mean, it's not like it's really. I don't have a lot on it, so I don't know. But it may be time. Actually, it's nine years old. I got it in 2013. So it may just be time for a new computer. So again, some of these I'm just going to sleeve for the moment. But definitely stuff like the T-Law Pink and the T-Law Magnitude, those will definitely get uh, top loaded as well. So I think um, if anybody's so inclined, I think tomorrow uh, on Panini's website they uh, they do the Dutch auction for the 2021 Select Football first off the line. So that'll be interesting to keep an eye on. I, I don't think I'm going to try for one unless it gets uh, so low that <laughs> I just can't say no. But uh, I did jump on the uh, the Prism first off the lines. You know when they came out. Broke ones, just resold one. But I, you know, I still get a little nervous with stuff. I mean, I do tend to stick to retail or maybe the lower end hobby just because those are the, uh, that's kind of like my comfort zone right now. I try to stay in my lane, so to speak. But, uh, but we'll see. It'll be interesting to see how low the uh, select gets tomorrow. I think they. I want to say I think they start them out at 2,500 bucks, which obviously is way, way too much money, but um, drops every few minutes. So definitely something to keep an eye on. I will say I've had pretty good luck a couple times. I mean, besides just the the Prism first off the line, but a couple other times when Panini's dropped products that are somewhat in demand, I've had decent luck snagging stuff. I do use the app. I find that their app is the easiest to buy things with. And their app's kind of nice too. I've got, I've, I've bought a few of the NFT packs over time, so I've got a few of those. You know, you can you kind of have your little digital library and obviously keep track of redemptions, things like that. Which I know I've said it before, but I hope that uh, my Jamar Chase redemption gets done soon. I know he's starting to fulfill some of those, so it'd be nice to go ahead and get that one. And I guess really select will be the last, uh, really the last 2021 product. Finally, it's crazy. I think that it's uh, almost the start of the 2022 season, and we're just now wrapping up 2021. But I guess uh, it'll still be a few weeks before the we'd see any retail. I keep looking at my Barnes and Nobles for the optic blasters. Haven't uh, seen any yet. I did see a couple uh, of the Optic Megas have popped up on eBay, and those were going, they're like for almost 400 bucks for three of them, which is just a little too ridiculous. I've learned to be patient, because there's no reason to way, way overspend, let's say. But I'll definitely be hitting up my Walmarts this week, just to see if... Uh, if they get any optic blasters at the very least. I was also wondering if they'll do, I know they've done Chronicles Megas in the past, but I haven't really heard anything about those yet, so it'll be interesting to see. I definitely would try for some of those if I can find them. Ah, uh, okay, Eric. Yeah, four weeks. That's not too bad. Yeah, I think I put mine in at the beginning of March, so I guess that's March, April, May, June, July, so almost six months, which isn't terrible. I think there were some people of 
and probably still are, I've been waiting even longer, but it seemed like the higher end products were the ones that were going out first, which I guess makes sense, but uh, we'll see. Hopefully the, the rest of them aren't too far behind. All right, so next couple boxes, we got A.J. Dillon, Terry McLaurin, Patty Mahomes, got a T-Law on the score. Then we got Micah Parsons on the playoff momentum, Pat Fryermuth on the luminance, T.J. Hawkinson on the pink, Kadarius Tony, Miles Garrett, Matt Judon, Terrace Marshall, Clear Vision for Davis Mills. Then Kadarius Tony on the Gridiron Kings, Kyle Pitts, there we go. I don't think we've really seen him yet on the pink Gridiron Kings. C.D. Lamb, Kirk Cousins, Marquise Brown, Tylen Wallace. Uh, we got a magnitude for Kyler Murray going to the Cardinals. Then we got Terrace Marshall on the canvas, pink Dawson Knox, Tyreek Hill, DJ Moore, and Keenan Allen. And we got a flux for Mac Jones. Not a silver, unfortunately, but uh, we'll take it. So nice insert there for the Pats. We got Aziz Ojolari for the playoff momentum. Adam Thielen on the pink. Chuba Hubbard, pink gridiron kings. Russell Wilson, Aaron Jones, Antonio Gibson, Justin Fields, prestige. Got a Dwayne Eskridge on the clear vision. Taylor Heineke on the pink. Najee on the pink canvas. Do have a silver. Looks like a Dynagon coming up. Josh Allen, Justin Herbert, Dak Prescott. Got Amon Ra St. Brown on the prestige. And looks like it'll be a Justin Fields. All right. Not a bad looking card there. Got a little fiber on there. There we go. Maybe a couple of little teeny tiny little pin size imperfections, but not bad. So nice looking card there. The silver version for the Bears. We got Javante Williams and a Mac Jones pink luminance. All right. Oops. Let's see. So next up, we got David Montgomery, Trey Lance, Jeffrey Simmons. Got Zach Wilson on the prestige. Then we got a Justin Jefferson on the magnitude. I do like those uh, plastic, the clear cards. It takes me back to my uh, teenage days of uh, collecting comic book cards. They had some good. Uh, Good clear cards back then, too. Miles Sanders on the pink. Kenneth Gainwell on the pink canvas. Alvin Kamara, Joey B, Miles Sanders, Chuba Hubbard. No, nope. oh, good Lord. I'm always thinking it's going to be Chuba. J.C. Horn, rather. Sorry. Doesn't even look like Chuba Hubbard. Totally different position. On um, the Legacy, Dwayne Eskridge on the clear vision again. We got a pink Cortland Sutton, pink Gridiron Kings for Najee. Cortland Sutton, Michael Carter, and Matt Stafford. Then we got Michael Carter on the Prestige. Aziz Ojolari again on the Playoff Momentum. Got a Luminance for Jalen Waddell. Chronicles Pink for Michael Carter, DeAndre Hopkins, Marshawn Lattimore, Justin Fields. And then we got Micah Parsons on the Prestige. Another magnitude for Kyler Murray. Kenneth Gainwell on the canvas. Justin Fields, pink. Luminance. Chronicles for Michael Pittman. Derrick Henry. Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Got Zach Wilson on the Donegan. Davis Mills on the Clear Vision. Najee Gridiron Kings. Matt Stafford, pink. There's a Chuba Hubbard. Devontae Smith. Jerry Judy. Got Jalen Waddle on the Prestige. And then we got Micah Parsons on the Playoff Momentum. Justin Fields on the Luminance. And Sam Ellinger on the Pink Canvas. All right. Yeah, we need to find some more of those prison blacks. We did real well in those first couple boxes, and then uh, they kind of disappeared on us. But we got seven more boxes to go.
So nice Justin Fields there. I always got to get a plug in for BS collectibles. Got my nice Justin Fields full size replica autograph helmet over there. So if y'all like uh, memorabilia breaks, I always I always do a little plug. BS collectibles, boys and B B is in boy, S is in scout. Check them out. They've got a Facebook page. They've got a website. They have uh, eBay breaks as well. They do Monday through Sunday, Monday through Saturday rather, uh, lunch breaks with uh, three mini helmets and one full size helmet. And then they also do um, Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday nights. Um, and they do uh, a variety of different breaks. Uh, they do baseball breaks as well on Tuesday, Thursdays, and Sundays. So check them out if you like memorabilia breaks. That's kind of like I still do some, join some card breaks, but uh, more more than anything these days, it's uh, memorabilia breaks for me. So. Good stuff. I'll tell you, last night I already have a, Joey Bur a Joe Burrow uh, full-size replica signed helmet that I'd won through through a break with them. But last night after my uh, after I got done with my break, I uh, hopped back on their YouTube stream and uh, they have a, like an upcoming hits on their website. So they'll show you stuff that's going to be you know in a break. Once it hits the website, usually it's going to show up within a, a week or two. And I knew they had another Joe Burrow, and they got to a point where they only had one more. They have like different numbers for their uh, their breaks, and they had two numbers left for their three full size helmet breaks. And one, I forget what the other one was, but one was number nine, and the second to last one to go was not number nine. So number nine was left, and I was like, you know. I won a Jamar Chase mini helmet a couple weeks ago, and it was in break number one, and Jamar Chase's number is one. So when I saw the one for break number nine, I thought to myself, I'm like, man, you know, I wonder if uh, that could be the Joey Burrow one, you know? So in the second to last break, um, I didn't get in on that one. It was a buy one, get three full size. I didn't get in on that one, and uh, they pulled a, a Dax Hill for the Bengals, full size in that one, so I was like, well, they probably wouldn't have two bangles, you know, in breaks at the same time. So I was like, well, so in the final buy one, get three, I picked the Steelers because they have some good, uh, there's a nice Najee uh, full-size sign helmet. And uh, nobody picked the bangles, but somebody got them as the random team because, you know, buy one, get three. And sure enough, Joe Burrow got pulled out of that one. I was kicking myself. I thought, man... I should have uh, I should have gone with my gut instinct, and I should have gone with the Bengals in that one. Could have at least given it to my mom. When I won the full size one, I had bought a Joe Burrow mini. So when I won the full size one, I gave my mom the uh, the mini. So I guess that's a lesson. Always trust your gut. <laughs> Alright, so after this, we'll have five boxes left to go. Alright, give me just a second. Let me see. Alright, yep. Yeah. Got a couple people looking to get into the group, so let me go ahead and just approve those real quick. <clears throat> All right. I think we got a prism black coming up in this first box. So we got a Dak. Let me actually adjust the camera a little bit there. So we got Dak, Russell Wilson, Aaron Jones, Terrace Marshall, Nico Collins on the momentum. We got Chuba Hubbard, uh, Rondale Moore Pink, Antonio Gibson, Tyreek Hill, DJ Moore. Michael Carter on the score. Uh, Magnitude for Alvin Kamara. Got a Brown. Anthony Schwartz on the canvas. Jerry Judy Pink. Keenan Allen. C.D. Lamb. 
Kirk Cousins, Kadarius Tony Prestige. We've got Clear Vision for Pat Fryermuth, Elijah Moore on the Gridiron Kings, uh, Devontae Smith, Pink, Gridiron Kings. All right, yep, we got a Prism Black coming up here. So we got Marquise Brown, Kadarius Tony, Miles Garrett, Ramondre Stevenson. Got a uh, Jamin Davis for the Washington Commanders. Then we got Zach Wilson, Pink, Chuba Hubbard, Matt Judon, A.J. Dillon, and let's see, so it's going to be a Niner, and it is a Trey Lance. All right, there we go. It's a, not a silver, just the regular one, but nice looking cards nonetheless. We got Joe Burrow on the Magnitude for the Bengals. Cooper Cup on the pink, Anthony Schwartz on the pink, Patty Mahomes, Cole Beasley, Austin Eckler, Devontae Smith, Kellen Mond, Kenneth Gainwell, and J.J. Watts, pink. Okay, here we go. We got Trey Lance. Jeffrey Simmons, Alvin Kamara, Nico Collins, Tutu Atwell, Trey Lance on the canvas, Tua, pink, Joe Burrow, Miles Sanders, Cortland Sutton, got Jamar Chase on the prestige, Kenneth Gainwell, and another Kenneth Gainwell on the Gridiron Kings, Keeney and Wangwu on the pink canvas, got Michael Carter, Matt Stafford, DeAndre Hopkins, Marshawn Lattimore, and we got a Najee Harris on the flux for the Steelers. And let's see, we got something for the Raiders. I don't know if I've seen the Derek Carr yet, but we got Derek Carr Magnitude on the clear. Nice looking card for the Raiders. Kellen Mond on the canvas, pink, Javante Williams, Justin Fields, Michael Pittman, Derek Henry, we got Rondale Moore on the Prestige. Uh, another Javante Williams, this time on the Clear Vision. Got him in one of my two fantasy leagues that I inherited this year. Uh, Travis Etienne on the Canvas. Elijah Moore Pink on the Canvas. Clyde Edwards Hilaire, Chuba Hubbard, Devonte Smith, Michael Carter. Got the playoff momentum for Des Fitzpatrick for the Titans. And Corey Davis, Gridiron Kings for Jalen Waddle Pink. Got Jerry Judy, Zach Wilson, Cooper Cup, and another Mac Jones, this time on the score. Got a Patty Mahomes on the magnitude, going to the Chiefs, Aaron Donald on the pink, and then Ramondre Stevenson on the pink luminance. Not too bad. So I was going to look and see. I think there's supposed to be numbered cards in here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there are. We hit one numbered card the last time. I think I did 15, but those numbered cards are apparently are hard to find. And then as far as getting these shipped, um, just because there's such a large quantity of cards, uh, it may take a couple days. So my goal would be, I've got a, tomorrow night I'm going to get the uh, prestige break from last night, get those uh, packaged up. So it may be like latest would be Thursday when I would generate the, uh, the labels and then drop them off Friday. It may end up being I can kind of do half and half. 
I don't want to get some more top loaders, but uh, it would definitely, uh, unless something crazy happened this week, uh, it would be Friday at the latest that they would get dropped off at the post office. Yeah, let's see. All right, two more to go here. We got five total, including these two. <clears throat> when we get done, we'll do a quick recap, and they'll do two randomizations. Do a randomizer for the Ravens card, since they didn't sell. And then the Demetric Felton autograph card, giveaway card. Yeah, it would be nice to hit a numbered card, something. And I guess technically there's signature cards, autograph cards in there, but again, they must be pretty tough to find. I don't know if they did Megas, if Megas would maybe have a, a shot at an autograph or a mem, something like that. Seems like this year Panini's kind of gone more towards the auto or a mem, whereas in past years they might have been an auto, let's say like in a mega box. But even though it says auto or a mem, more often than not, it does seem like it ends up being a jersey card. Or the dreaded Panini points, which I guess sometimes the, the autograph cards aren't uh, necessarily the greatest. So maybe sometimes Panini points are better. So I think uh, what I might do too, uh, sometime in the next couple weeks, is do another um, like memorabilia break. I did a three RSA mini helmet break uh, a few weeks ago, but I'm thinking I might try to do like a, a, a random or like a ten item break and kind of do a mix of like mini helmets, maybe one full size helmet, some jerseys, footballs. And try to mix it up a little bit. You know, it might be some RSA, maybe Gold Rush. Um, BS Collectibles does have um, some of their own that they do um, with the mystery boxes. TriStar is another one. So we'll see at some point in the next couple weeks. I definitely want to try something like that. All right, here we go. We got David Montgomery, Trey Lance, Jeffrey Simmons. We've got a Terrace Marshall on the Flux for the Panthers. And we got uh, Justin Fields on the playoff momentum. Dawson Knox, pink. Uh, pink Gridiron Kings for Dwayne Eskridge. Aaron Donald, Matt Ryan, Derek Carr. Got a prestige for Amon Ra St. Brown. Kyle Pitts on the clear vision. Got Adam Thielen, pink. Kyle Pitts, pink. Tua, Javante, Corey Davis. Kellen Mond on the Prestige, Devontae Smith Magnitude, excuse me. And let's see, we got a uh, Prison Black coming up. We got Jalen Waddle on the Gridiron Kings, uh, Pink Felipe Franks. We got uh, Nico Collins, Traquan Smith, Jamar Chase, and let's see, for the Eagles, could it be Kenneth Gainwell this time? All right, oops, I'm slipping out there. It's all right, though. He's in good shape. So we got a Kenneth Gainwell to go with the Devontae Smith from earlier. Rashad Bateman on the Momentum. Elijah Moore, Taylor Heineke, Josh Jacobs, Darnell Mooney, Debo. Kenneth Gainwell on the Prestige, Adafi Owe. Keenan Wangwu on the Canvas. Got Rashad Bateman on the Gridiron Kings Pink. Tom Brady, T-Law, Cordell Patterson. Got Trey Lance on the Prestige. Clear vision for Sam Ellinger. We've got Khalil Herbert on the Gridiron Kings. And then an Aaron Rodgers pink going to the Packers. Mm 
Okay, continuing on, we got Labishka, Lamar Jackson, Daniel Jones, Kadarius Toney, Devontae Smith on the playoff momentum, pink for Aaron Donald, got a Davis Mills pink luminance, Nick Chubb, uh, Mac Jones, Brevin Jordan, and we got a Kadarius Toney on the Donegan for the Giants. Does have like a little imperfection over there. Almost like the uh, outline of a fingernail. Uh, we got a Justin Herbert on the Magnitude. Trevor Lawrence, rather. Goodness gracious. It is only Monday. I did not get as much sleep last night as I should have. So I think my brain is tired. <laughs> T-Law. Not Justin Fields. My goodness. All right, here we go. Matt Ryan on the pink. Uh, Devontae Smith, pink. Canvas. Ben Roethlisberger. Justin Jefferson. Jalen Waddell. Ramondre Stevenson. Patrick Sertan on the clear vision. Uh, Terrace Marshall. Derek Carr, pink for the Raiders. And then we got Amon Ra St. Brown. Mike Evans. James Robinson. Prestige for Devontae Smith. Momentum for Zach Wilson. Got a Davis Mills on the Luminance. Pink. J.C. Horn, Gridiron Kings. Calvin Ridley. Darren Waller. Baker Mayfield. Got a, another Mac Jones on the Flux. Then we got Najee Harris on the Magnitude. Devontae Smith again on the Canvas this time. Pink David Montgomery. Eli Mitchell. Brandon Cooks. Deontay Johnson. And we got Prestige for Chuba Hubbard. Kadarius Tony on the Clear Vision. And J.C. Horn on the Gridiron Kings. And then a pink Zach Wilson on the Gridiron Kings as well. Go ahead and get a few of these sleeved up. And we get some more sleeves. All right, so we got three more boxes to go. I'll do these two together, and I'll do the last one by itself. Yep, the empty box.
Yep, looks like we got a prism black. Might be a silver one in there. Yeah, I wonder when they're going to figure out, uh, come to some sort of agreement on the Deshaun Watson situation. Sure would be nice just to get some sort of closure on that one. But if he's out long enough, I did hear you know, some people suggesting they might, uh, Browns might go after Jimmy Garoppolo. I will say, I mean, I, I'm not, you know, I don't... I don't really hate any teams anymore, you know. Obviously, the the Bengals are rivals, especially with the Steelers. But um, I don't know. I'm, I'm curious to see how uh, Baker Mayfield, if he ends up being the starter for the Panthers in Week One, <clears throat> see if he, uh, you know, be nice to kind of see him get a little uh, payback to the Browns. All right, so we got Justin Herbert, Dak Prescott, Russell Wilson. Got Kyle Trask, and let's see, we got a silver, Prism Black, uh, for the Eagles. Man, the Eagles tonight are um, Devontae Smith. The Eagles are definitely hogging all of the Prism Blacks. And so not only is it our second Prism Black, it is the second Prism Black Silver for the Eagles. All right, well, there you go. Nice hits there for the Eagles. We've got a Chuba Hubbard, uh, Rondale Moore, Pink, Quentin Nelson, Kyler Murray, Josh Allen. We've got a score for Javante Williams. Then we got an Ian Book on the magnitude, Odafe Owe for the Ravens, Michael Pittman, Jalen Hurts, Michael Parsons, Tyler Lockett. And then we got Pat Fryermuth on the Prestige, Jalen Waddell on the Playoff Momentum, Eli Mitchell, Gridiron Kings, Chuba Hubbard Pink on the Canvas, AJ Brown, Travis Kelsey, Christian McCaffrey, Kyle Pitts, Prestige, got Zach Wilson on the Clear Vision, Sam Ellinger on the Canvas, Justin Fields Pink, got Michael Thomas, uh, DJ Metcalf, DK Metcalf, sorry, Jonathan Taylor. And we got Kyle Pitts on the Flux for the Falcons. Jamar Chase on the Magnitude for the Bengals. Uh, Marshawn Lattimore, that's why I shouldn't read upside down. Pink. Uh, Adafa Owe on the Pink Gridiron Kings. Zach Wilson. Cooper Cup. TJ Watt. Deami Brown. Um, Najee Harris on the Playoff Momentum. DeAndre Hopkins, Pink. And Eli Mitchell, Pink Gridiron Kings at the end. All right, second to last box. Yeah, we do have another Prism Black in the second half of that stack. All right, we got Michael Pittman, Derek Henry, Clyde Edwards Hilaire, got Kyle Trask on the Legacy, Patrick Sertan, Clear Vision, Jerry Judy on the Pink, Gridiron Kings for Patrick Sertan, DeAndre, Marshawn Lattimore, Justin Fields, Rondale Moore. Got a, another Trevor Lawrence on the Magnitude. Devontae Smith, Pink. Jalen Waddell. Cortland Sutton. Michael Carter. Matt Stafford. Prestige for Kyle Trask. We got something silver and his orange. And a wide receiver, so I assume this is going to be Jamar. There we go. Not bad. So, got a silver score. All right, a little fiber up there on the top. <clears throat> nice looking card for the Bengals. Oops. Then we got Pat Fryermuth on the luminance, uh, pink luminance for Javante Williams. Got Alvin Kamara, Joe Burrow, Miles Sanders, and let's see. This is looks like Jaguars. Yep. So let's see what we got. T-Law. All right, there we go. So nice T-Law on the Prism Black. Well, this, uh, these two boxes were some good ones there. Got Devontae Smith on the Playoff Momentum. Kadarius Toney. Chuba Hubbard. David Montgomery. Trey Lance. Jeffrey Simmons. 
Got a Pat Frymuth Prestige, Trey Lance on the Clear Vision. Terrace Marshall, uh, Nico Collins, Aaron Donald, Matt Ryan, Derek Carr, Kyle Pitts. We've got a Magnitude for Jalen Waddell, Javante Williams on the canvas, and a pink, Clyde Edwards Hilaire for Kansas City. I know, I know, look at that Mac. We got some other good Mac Joneses out there. But yeah, I know, I think the first time I did the 215, or the, the first time I did the 15 blasters for Chronicles, I think we hit two of the Mac Jones. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. When we get done, we'll do the quick recap, and then we'll do the randomizers for the, oh, one hiding in there, for the Ravens, and then the giveaway card. Oh, you know what? Let me go ahead and, well, let me open these, and then I'll sleeve and top load the last little bit there. Okay. <clears throat> All right. We got Michael Carter, Matt Stafford, DeAndre Hopkins. Got a Jalen Waddle on the score for Miami. Another magnitude Jalen Waddle. Jerry Judy on the pink. Chuba Hubbard, Joe Burrow, Miles Sanders, Cortland Sutton, Kadarius Tony, Travis Etienne, Devontae Smith, pink. Gridiron Kings pink for Devontae Smith, Trey Lance, Jeffrey Simmons, Alvin Kamara, Tylen Wallace on the Prestige, and we got another Jamar Chase, Silver on the score. Then we got Mac Jones on the Luminance, Rondale Moore, pink canvas. And we got Matt Ryan. Derek Carr, David Montgomery, Kenneth Gainwell on the Flux, Greg Rousseau for the Bills. Then we got a Michael Carter for the Jets, Gridiron Kings, Chuba Hubbard, Javante Williams, Corey Davis, Aaron Donald, Justin Fields on the Prestige. Then we got a Ian Book, Zach Wilson on the Canvas, Chuba Hubbard Pink, Traquan Smith, Jamar Chase, Tua, Amon Ra St. Brown on the Prestige. Got Lamar Jackson on the Magnitude. Rashad Bateman and Chronicles Pink for Clyde Edwards Hilaire. All right, let me go ahead and get some of these sleeved and top loaded, and then we'll do a quick recap. So again, I like the Chronicles just because they do really feature the rookies pretty heavily. So that's nice to get some nice looking cards. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see if they do end up releasing any uh, you know mega boxes or any of their variants. I know they've they've had the uh, the fat packs and the solo packs, but it would be nice if they do some mega boxes as well.
All right, so let's do a quick recap. <clears throat> okay, so we have the uh, Najee on the Flux, Davis Mills, Pink Luminance, uh, Trevor Lawrence on the Magnitude, Kenneth Gainwell on the Prism Black, Trey Lance, Prism Black, Zach Wilson on the Pink Gridiron Kings, one of two, Devontae Smith Silver um, for the Eagles, got Javante Williams running back on the score. One of two silver score Jamar Chases, Trevor Lawrence on the Prism Black. Uh, score for Jalen Waddle. There's our other Jamar Chase. Got Joey B on the Magnitude. Mac Jones on the score. Mac Jones on the Flux. Patty Mahomes on the Magnitude. Javante Williams on the Clear Vision. Uh, the Silver Donegan for Justin Fields. Uh, we got Mac Jones on the Flux again. Kyle Pitts for the Gridiron Kings Pink. Trevor Lawrence on the score. Donegan for Zach Wilson. Mac Jones Pink Luminance. And then we got Zach Wilson on the silver flux for the Jets. Uh, T-Law, silver, Jags on the flux. Justin Herbert, magnitude. Trey Lance, pink. Red Iron Kings, got the Tom Brady pink. Mac Jones on the clear vision. Tom Brady on the magnitude. Jamar Chase on the pink canvas. Trey Lance, pink luminance. T-Law on the canvas. Our second Devontae Smith, silver, prison black. Jamar Chase, magnitude. Mac Jones, Magnitude, Jalen Waddle on the Clear Vision, Jalen Waddle on the Pink Luminance, Jamar Chase on the Prison Black, Trey Lance Pink, Canvas, Rashad Bateman, Prison Black, Mac Jones on the Gridiron Kings, and Zach Wilson on the Playoff Momentum. All right, so give me just a moment. I'm going to go ahead and finish getting random.org set up real quick. So we'll do two giveaways. The first one will be for the Ravens cards, Baltimore Ravens cards, since they did not um, sell tonight. And then the second one will be for the Demetric Felton uh, autograph card from the Contender Series this year. Okay, let me go ahead and get the teams loaded up in the randomizers. And the only one I'm going to remove, let me, I'll just put it up on the screen real quick. I'll just take the Ravens out of both of them. So, there's the Ravens, there they go. And then let me get the other randomizer up. And let's get the Ravens out of there. So there we go. So I'll roll the dice. Uh, we'll do the same dice uh, roll. It's going to be at least six. Six or higher. So we'll do the two. Seven. That is higher than six. And let me go ahead and bring that up a little bit more. And let me give it just a second. There we go. Wait for it to... Clear up a little bit. All right, so we got seven. So we'll go over here to the first one. And the first randomizer, this will be for the Ravens card. So any Ravens cards did hit that prison black for Rashad Bateman. So that was a nice looking one. So five, six, and seven. So real quick, just show that it was seven times. There we go, and the Cowboys. Cowboys will get the Ravens. Let me make a quick note. All right, good deal. And then we'll go to the second randomizer. Again, this one will be for the Demetric Felton autograph card. So we'll do seven more times.
There we go. Again, just to show, seven times. And the Titans. So the Titans will get the Demetric Felton. All right, well, thank you all for joining tonight on this Monday night. Uh, again, I'll have some uh, breaks probably Sunday, this coming Sunday, for the Legacy 2022 and the Prestige 2022. And then at some point in the next couple weeks, hopefully get up some of the uh, Optic Blasters as those come in. And uh, we'll just kind of go from there. So I do appreciate you all joining, and I will try to remember to make some announcements through the Facebook group page uh, whenever I do um, additional breaks. But I do appreciate you all participating, uh, and I hope you all have a wonderful week, and thanks again.